All right, everyone, it's time for a fishing challenge video. So I have right here two spro frogs. We have a walking frog and a popping frog. That's pretty much the challenge for today's video. It's a walking versus popping frog video. We're gonna see which one catches the most fish. So as you can see right here in the top, we're gonna be starting off with the walking frog, killer gill. It's a great way to mimic bluegill. And the last one right here, the popping frog, this is nasty shad. This is probably with the spros, one of the spros of best patterns. This is probably one of the best patterns out there in a topwater frog. And yeah, you guys, we're gonna see which one catches the most bass. Like I said, we're gonna get started with the walking frog. And I'll see you guys once we get to the spot. Let's see how this goes. All right, I'm here at the spot. So like what I said, starting off with the walking frog, killer gill pattern from Spro. Let's see how this goes. I was almost right through that branch over there. Just gonna slowly walk it back. I love the way it walks. Very nice walking presentation. That's really cool. Great job to uh, shout out to Sp uh, Spro for doing that. Great job on the design to make it walk really nice. It's awesome. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one, right on the killer gill pattern. He just slurped it right down, y'all. Oh, he's fighting pretty hard. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. Right there. Bass number one on the walking frog. The sp oh, this is a good one, too. This is a good bass. Check that out, y'all. Nice, you guys. Let's get a quick picture and put him back. This is great. I mean, he didn't even explode. He just slurped it right down. Just took it right down. It was crazy, though, but he fought pretty well. Let's put him back in the water. Alrighty, man. Cool. So, so far, bass. That's the first bass on the walking frog. Probably make an adjustment. Quick change to the popping frog pretty soon. Maybe go after, go after one more bass, but that was awesome, you guys. That was actually my first bass in this pattern. So, good start. Let's keep going. That was awesome. Like what I said, that was actually my first bass on this frog right here. The Spro Bronze Eye Killer Gilla pattern. First time using it, first time catching a bass with it. So that's always great. And that was a good bass too. Just the way he took it down, you know, sometimes the big bass like to just slurp it right down without, you know, hitting it hard. But it was great to land him. That was a great start off to the video. I'm gonna use this for a little bit longer and then switch up to the popping frog. The nasty shad pattern I have in the box right over there. But so far, so good. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Oh, wow, right there, number two. Good. Now that one, that was a good explosion. This bass was waiting for something right here, and this is another good bass. Oh man, bass, he, he choked this one. Not as big as the first one, but wait, I've caught this one before. I've actually caught this in a previous video because I, re I recognize this, the scars right here. And Well, welcome back to a new video, man. Uh, thanks for participating, but he choked it right there, you guys. Let's get a picture and put him back. That was awesome, you guys. He was just waiting right there. Took advantage of the bluegill, and boom, there you go. So let's. I'm gonna go ahead and make a switch to the popping frog. Oh man, look at those. Look at the bite marks on the top, you guys. I love seeing that. Let's go ahead and see how the popping frog does, and then we're gonna conclude this video. Made a switch to the popping frog. Spro bronze eye popping frog. Nasty shad. This is such an awesome pattern. It's probably one of my favorites. It's definitely one of Spro's uh, best patterns. And man, it looks good. Just slowly walking it back right here. Because, you know, you can walk a popping frog, which is nice. That's what makes him so versatile and effective because you can walk and pop him. Awesome.
Oh my gosh, that was he missed it though. That was a bass. I saw the body, but he he missed it. No, he didn't miss it this time. <laughs> See, that's why you gotta be patient, you guys. Go back after it. Let it sit there for a bit. This is another good bass. Oh my gosh. No! Oh my gosh, what? Oh, whatever. Let's keep going, y'all. That was that was crazy. See if I can go back after that bass again. That was a good one too, man. That was almost like the first one I got. In fact, that might have been the first bass from earlier. <laughs> Just took a nice little break and decided to go back for more or something, but yeah, y'all, they're sure biting the frog. That's there's no doubt about it. Landed two, landed two on the walking frog. Almost landed right there, that close. I mean, almost landed the third one on the on the popping frog from Spro. Alrighty, y'all. So I had to get my GoPro Volta. I got my battery grip on right here. We're gonna finish off the video. It's a brand new day. I currently have the popping frog on right here. Nasty shad. So I'm just gonna place my GoPro right over there and just fish off this bank and see what I can grab. So let's go ahead and continue on. Actually, I now have the GoPro on my head, on the head mount. It's all good right now. So we're just gonna finish off the video, catch a couple bass or a few on the popping frog and conclude the video. We're gonna see which one I prefer, the walking frog or the popping frog. That looks awesome, the way it walks in the water. That's one g great thing about popping frogs. You know, the vers they're so versatile. You can walk them and you can pop them. And due to their bodies, you know, that kind of like rectangular shape, shaped bodies because of the, you know, their, pop their popping frogs, uh, it makes it easier for them to walk too, which is nice. But I do like the action. Spro did a great job. Great job, Spro. We slurped it down. It was like a silent like hit, but Sound like a clap. He's not he's not big at all, but I'll take him either way. So it's uh two on the walking frog and one on the popping frog. Oh he's not so bad actually, I'll take him though, but he was just right by the tree right there. Good spot to ambush your your prey. Right there, you guys. Nice little bass. Let's keep going. Yeah, I was just popping it by the tree branch over here, by the tree. Just slowly popping the nasty shad popping frog. Imitating an injured and dying shad bait fish on the top And that bass out of nowhere right by the tree. He just came out of nowhere and just slurped it right down It was it was quick too. He hit it really fast Walking it back and now I'm popping it see I'm walking it right here nice zigzags and then popping it so awesome, you guys. This is why I love popping frogs. I do want to point out, you know, how it walks. It has a very, very, very solid walking presentation. The way it zigzags, you know, left and right. That's awesome. Spro did a great job on the design and its presentation. Great job, Spro. You know, it might be good that I'm using a popping frog right now because as you can see the current, it's starting to get a bit choppy because of the wind. Popping adds more disruption on the top. So I'm just gonna slowly pop it back. Like a pop or two every few seconds. So one, two pops. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna end the video pretty soon, probably after this cast or so, or I actually might switch to, the, to back to the walking frog for a bit. But just a quick update, so far we're at three bass in total. First two were on the walking frog, the Spro bronze eye, walking frog, killer gill pattern, bluegill imitation. And the one I just caught recently, uh, almost I just caught two, but I, I was able to grab one on the popping frog just, just recently. I did miss a good one yesterday though, just right there, just fell off in the last second. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue on for a little bit, but uh, it's getting pretty dark. So far, so good on the Spro frogs. All right, I switched back to the walking frog to finish off the video. Just right by the tree right here, just slowly walking it back. Mimicking a bluegill on the top. 
But so far, you guys, this is a pretty fun video. The first bastard so ch absolutely just crushed the killer gill pattern. I mean, he choked it. That's how you know he wants the frog, wants the bluegill. They're out hunting bluegills right now, too. That's a that's for sure. But yeah, you guys, this is definitely a fun video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. So here it is right here. This is definitely the MVP of the video. Killer gill go, uh, pattern from Spro, walking frog. Awesome frog, you guys. So even though this did catch the most fish, you know, two out of one, two compared to one compared to the popping frog, I do gotta admit, I think I still prefer a popping frog because they're so versatile. You know, you can walk a fro popping frog and you can pop him as well. They're not just meant for popping, you can walk it as well. But the thing about a walking frog, you know, with the pointed nose, it makes it easier for it to get through vegetation like lily pads. But like what I said, due, due, to, due to the versatile presentation, I, I definitely have to go with the popping frog. But like I said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This was a fun little project for you all. Um, hope you, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys for the next video. I'm definitely going to do another Top Water Frog Challenge.